Nowadays, we know very few about fungi. Uh, you should know that uh, only 5% of the fungal diversity is known. We have about 200,000 fungi out of 1.5 million fungi that are expected uh, to exist. And if you think that only with the 5% of fungi, you have microbes which are as such important than producing antibiotics. Penicillin, for instance, is produced by Penicillium chrysogenum and has saved thousands of people uh, during World War II, for instance. Cyclosporin is another example of an important molecule which originates from fungi and which is used in medicine. Cyclosporin is used in chirurgy to avoid rejection of organs, for instance. Yeast, of course, is also important. It has been used since more than 8,000 years for in the bakery, in cheese ripening, in wine, in, the, in brewery, so it's very important also. The Laboratory of Mycology is a biological resource center which is located in the Earth and Life Institute of the University of Catholic de Louvain. And so the main field of expertise of the Laboratory of Mycology and we are focused on agriculture, agrofood, ecology and environment. And the whole group is about 35 persons, 4 senior scientists, 16 PhDs and technicians and administrative people. We are developing different uh, research activities. First one, uh, we are working on arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi. And so these fungi are organisms that form associations with the roots of most existing plants and crops, such as banana, wheat, maize, etc. These fungi improve plant growth and protect the plants against a number of pests and diseases. And so we try to understand how these fungi will help plant to fend off these major problems. And so how we can use these organisms as biofertilizer, biostimulants and bioprotection agents. A second very interesting project is on the production of some enzymes by fungi. For instance, we have a project with Ecuador in which we have sampled isolated fungi from oil points, so from uh, environments which have been contaminated by petroleum. And incidentally, we have observed that these fungi were able to degrade some pollutants, some of these petroleum pollutants. And so the idea is to use this organism for revegetation or for remediation strategies. And the third example is on yeast. Huh? We are exploring the fungal, the yeast diversity in flowers to find new fungi, new yeast that would be able to be introduced in some fermentation processes. So the Laboratory of Mycology is also hosting the Mycotech of the Université Catholique de Louvain. This Mycotech is one of the biggest in the world. It's about 30,000 different living organisms, filamentous fungi, yeast and arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi. It's a centenary collection, it dates more than 100 years and it's, it is funded since more than 30 years now by the Belgian Science Policy. The collection is working uh, well on different aspects, taxonomy, biodiversity, phylogeny, uh, physiology of fungi. We offer different services to the scientific community but also to the industrial partners. And the first major activity is, of course, the preservation of the fungal diversity. So we offer material as in public deposit, so means that the fungi are available to all scientists around the world. We have also fungi in the framework of restricted access, which are only accessible to the depositor, and a number of fungi in the framework of patent deposits. We also offer other services to the uh, the industrial partners. For instance, they can screen the collection for some specific properties of fungi. Uh, for, for instance, the production of some enzymes that can be used for detoxification or degradation of some pollutants. We also offer uh, training in the framework of consultancies with industrial or with scientists that would like to learn some techniques, techniques of preservation or techniques of cultivation of uh, fungi in, uh, for their own uh, applications. Since more than 10 years now, uh, we have developed an international training on the in vitro cultivation of mycorrhizal fungi. And this training started because a lot of scientists around the world wanted to come to the lab to learn a number of techniques. And then we decided to join all these demands in one session every year. And so people are coming from everywhere around the world. For this session, we have people coming from Indonesia, from South Africa, from the United States and from Europe to learn these techniques. I work on mycorrhizal fungi for many, many years. 
but I have never done the in vitro training that they offer here in Belgium. I'm looking forward to using this technique to help us keep some of our cultures and also as an experimental tool for research to try and go more into depth about understanding the symbiotic relationship. And so this is a very useful method for that. The research institute that we work at is a crop research institute. So we look at um, a whole range of different crop-based and arable issues. Um, for myself personally, I look at the interaction between mycorrhizal fungi and pollinators. So this training will help because we can do things in a very different way from the way that we've done them before. This will allow us to do um, many more different techniques we can try. I come from Indonesia. Indonesia agriculture uh, cultivation is not very good. We use more unorganic chemical fertilizer for plantation. So our government start for these few years uh, give a recommendation to use a more environmentally product for agriculture. And one of them is using arbuscular mycorrhiza. Arbuscular mycorrhiza is a biofertilizer that we can use in our country for agriculture cultivation. What is very interesting in this training is that people maintain their link with, uh, with our uh, collection and they were very pleased about these, uh, this training and still now, after, even after 10 years, we have some of these trainees that make links with us for collaboration, project collaboration, for PhD studies, etc. or for the use, use of this uh, new knowledge for uh, scientific publications. <laughs>